Since this venerable stadium was erected in the Pennsylvania Hills, it has been the home to toughness, to passion, to winning. Welcome to Happy Valley and Beaver Stadium, home to the Penn State Nittany Lions. And boy, do we have a fun one ahead. Top 10 team, target on their back, going on their road and right into the snake pit. As we'll see, the number three team in the country, the Washington Huskies, taking on the 15th ranked team in the land, the Penn State Nittany Lions. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, joined here in the booth, as always, by David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Guys, let's tee this one up. You think the fans are ready for this one? The booth's shaking underneath us, guys. One back in the backfield, and they'll give it to him. Nice, solid form tackle from this sophomore. This crowd going to try to make life miserable for these guys. On the run, it's Coleman. And a good, solid pickup for the defense cuts him down. Deep in the season, that crisp air all around you, and this feels like a must-win game, guys. This is a game that will impact the college football playoff. It'll have conference championship implications, and it'll have bowl game implications as well. David, so much riding on the line in this one. And you can feel it, man. You, you can feel the energy. The, the players this week, they were on high. Like, you could tell they were ready for the challenge. This is going to be an absolute showdown. Comes out throwing on first down. Quarterback moving. He'll pull it down. Open space at the 25. Finally run out of bounds, but he has this offense rolling with a first down. You can tell this is a pass play. He has his eyes down the field. He's looking to throw the football. But how nice is it when you've got a guy like this that can scramble and go get you a first down? It's just really hard to stop from a defensive perspective. And into the end zone, and he's loose, and he'll take it to the house. And Washington is ready to go back on the attack. There wasn't much need to throw it around on that last drive for the touchdown, Jesse. They got it done running the ball. And David, I don't think you have to overthink this thing. If they can't stop you running it, why would you stop handing it off? Just keep at it here on this drive. Well, and if I'm the defense, I'm making some changes. I'm bringing in more big bodies. I'm playing more aggressive towards the line of scrimmage. I am not going to let them have that kind of drive again. Back to throw, it's Henry. He fires to the left side. And it goes through his hands. Oh, he had an explosive play right there for the taking, but couldn't reel it in. On third and long, he's going to have to throw for it. Keeps looking downfield. On the move at the 30. They finally make the stop, and he shows why he is dangerous on the one, two, and he's got a first down. He can throw it, he can buy time, he can run it. What, what can't he do? This guy's so talented. When he does stuff like this, there's no way to stop it. There's no way to coach a defense up against this. He's just really fast, and I can't catch him. He stopped at the 49 after gaining 10. This Washington offense moving quickly down the field. They're going to ride this running back. And how about the efficiency on that one? It'll bring up second and four. Tried to pound it on first down. Now back to the line. From the gun, they'll try the middle. Slam to the ground, but not before he gets the first down. Washington has it and a fresh set of downs. Got him looking run. He wants to throw. Unloads it left. A strike downfield. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. Washington hoping to make this defense bow down in the red zone. And they'll stop him after a minimal pickup. 
You know what I really like about games like this at this point in the season? You find out who you are. You find out whether you're going to stay in the race. And who can step up and handle the challenge, right? This is easily one of the toughest games to date for both of these programs coming into this one. So there's a lot of eyeballs, David, on this game to find out who's mentally and emotionally the toughest. Yeah, and we're going to point to this game as we get later in the year and big decisions are made. You've got a top 25 win. You beat them in the middle of the season, X, Y, and Z. So these are big for the resume. Looking downfield, it's Henry. Steps away. And they get to the quarterback and knock him down back at the 16. And that's a great job by this defense. The Huskies have it back trying to make this defense bow down to Washington. They kicked a field goal on the last drive, Jesse. They've got the lead. Don't make a dumb mistake, but maintain your aggressive play calling. Yeah, no doubt. I think it's the play caller right now, just taking a look at that script he's got in front of him and finding out where are my playmakers, who can we take advantage of on this defense to get a touchdown here, baby. Yeah, and just keep moving the ball. And they got him. They'll get him down for the sack. Third down conversions, always a huge stat. They've got a third and long from the 27. From the gun, wants to pass. Throws for the tight end. He's got an open man. Found a bunch of room and got it to the 44-yard line. Nice play design on that one. You make it easy for your quarterback, too, because it's easy to see what's happening right in front of you. Over the middle of the field, you can see where defenders are dropping. You can see where the soft spots are in zone coverage. And just a really nice job by the QB locating his guy, making it accurate. I like feeding my guy. I like getting my running back touches, feeding the ball so he can break some of those big runs. But I'm also okay with these little ones. Set the tone, stay balanced. The give out of the gun. Crosses the 30, he's got a lane. And he almost ran away from everybody on that one. A huge pickup on that play. Busting big runs like this is a total team effort. Obviously, the back has to find the hole, but you got to have everybody around them doing their job to make it a good play call. And everybody around them doesn't just mean the offensive line. And he'll take it in and house it. Touchdown, Washington. Quarterback's ability to read the field is huge. And also the anticipation, the timing. To be able to throw the football, Jesse, and hit a guy in stride so he can get run after the catch and get in the end zone, that was a nice job by the quarterback. Yeah, it's critical, David. And listen, a lot of times, touchdown passes aren't thrown into the end zone. You've got to read the coverage, hit the open guy, and let him do the rest. and Washington is ready to go back on the attack. These two defenses have had their heads spinning here in the first half, and now we might even see a little more scoring with this drive. It's going back and forth. This is like two heavyweights just trading blows, David. What has this defense got to do to get a stop here? I, I tell you what, man. When you're giving up points like this and you've got no momentum, you've got to find somebody that can make a play to create some. And, and listen, if, you're sc if they're scoring anyways, let's be aggressive. Let's blitz more. Let's, let's make sure we're making them feel discomfort in some way, shape, or form. They'll run it out of the shotgun. Got room at the 35. Good, solid pick up there. Now they can start to smell it with a first down at the 31. When the Huskies are moving on the ground like this, you will bow down to Washington. Yeah, and I tell you what, with all the rain they get out there in Washington, you better have a dependable ground game that you can go to and establish that tempo. Obviously, harder to throw the football in the rain, so dominant physical trenches. It's a two-minute warning, and we'll see if the offense can tack a little something extra on their lead before the break. And they'll line up from the 31 on first down. Looking to move it through the air. Buying some time. 
He'll pull it down and run. And the ball's on the ground. Everybody needs a little luck, and the offense just got it by falling on that fumble. Oh, they are breathing a sigh of relief after that recovered fumble. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. A strong tackle and wrap up from the junior. Here comes third and short from the 24, and this offense does not want to send out the field goal unit. Looking for his man. Soft spot in the middle. There was tight coverage, but a perfect throw and catch, and they've got it at the nine first and goal. And that's a really good example of a quarterback and his intended target both being on the same page. The timing was almost perfect on that play. That's why they were able to convert the third down, now setting up first and goal. Washington comes to the line with a first and goal. Looking to throw, it's Henry. Quarterback floating away from pressure. And he's a real nowhere man tackled in this no-game land. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. Feeling some heat. And the quarterback is snowed under. And they've been waiting for something good to happen with respect to getting after the quarterback, right? They're outside of the top 100 in the country in sacks per game. But finally now, you see they're generating this pass rush. Three sacks on the game so far. He's got his man. Touchdown, Husky! A great catch and run for six. One of the reasons this offense is so exciting to watch, they've got guys that are dangerous after the catch. And if this quarterback gets through his progression, David, hits you in stride, these guys will take it to the house. Man, it's your job to do the rest, right? You hit me in stride where I don't have to stop running. I don't have to break down. It makes it so easy, the connection between quarterback, wide receiver. You can tell this is a good one, and that's why they got six on that play. The Huskies have it back, trying to make this defense bow down to Washington. Jesse, a very productive drive last time, wound up with a touchdown. Yeah, mixing and matching play calling really well. Nice balance on that last one, Dave. We'll see what they can do here in this next drive. Yeah, and I don't expect anything different. When you put together a drive like that, I would do more of the same. Keep the pace, keep it going. Jet sweep to the receiver. And they try the middle of this stout defense, and they rise to the challenge. It's so hard because when they run jet sweeps, they don't always give them the football, and then you got to worry about other stuff. But great job focusing on your keys, seeing the jet sweep, pulling the trigger, going, and getting the speedster on the ground. Trying to make magic on the scramble. Nice shot there to limit the running room, and they get him out of bounds after a short game. And the quarterback's in the pocket.
And Washington is ready to go back on the attack. Boy, three and out last time, David. They'd like to be more productive this time around. Yeah, in the last drive, nothing really clicked. No rhythm. Got off the field really, really quickly. They need to put something together here. Yeah, David, bad execution on that last drive. So they got to take a collective breath and start playing like a unit on this one. Power football with the run. Stopped at the 44 after a five-yard gain. Offensively, and are you going to take four to six every play? Yes, please. Sign me up for that. I'm going to take that every single time. Great job by the offense. Staying patient, staying true to who they are. You want to run the football. You want to be physical. You want to establish yourself. Check, check, check. Looking to throw at Henry. Hit hard as he released the ball on that first down pass, and it never had a chance. After the quarterback and receiver failed to hook up, they'll try it again on second down. The give to the running back from the shotgun. And excellent vision to find running room there and make a really good pickup before the defense put a stop to it. Another good run. Man, he has been picking up yards in bunches today. Jesse, showing off all the skills. And he's showing no signs of slowing down, David. This guy just gets better as the game goes on. He is a beast. Able to scrounge three yards out of that one somehow in second and seven. Went with the running game on first down, now back at it. Fast motion from the offense. From the shotgun, they'll run it. Across the 25, he's got room. And he'll take it to the house. He got loose. This offense is so deep, it's teetering on the edge of a safety. They'll start this drive with a pass. Going deep. Snags it on the right. He's off to the races. Touchdown, Husky. And the stomping has commenced. They want to finish the season strong, and man, are they doing that here this Week 11 performance. A lot of times you see those receivers, as soon as they get by the DBs, you know, that hand goes straight up in the air. I got him. I got to step on him. He got to step on him, and the ball was thrown. The Huskies have it back, trying to make this defense bow down to Washington. They torched this defense with an explosive passing play for a score last time out. Let's see if they go right back at him. Can't find his man as he took a shot trying to deliver that football, and it'll be second down. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. The short hands. It's Moore. He'll move it up to the 37-yard line, and it'll be a first down. He's been so locked in, it seems like any pass called is a guaranteed chunk play. Yeah, and in winning late like this in the ball game, keep trusting him, keep spinning. You know why? Because stats matter late in the game. You want some postseason awards? Keep chucking it, keep getting those stats. They finally get him on the ground, but the big running play moves the change for the first down. From the gun, they'll try to impose their will. Moore left him grasping for air. They make the tackle at the 33, but he's ripped off 15 yards and picked up a first down. And the Huskies come to the line with a new set of downs. On the ground, it's Coleman. It's a point in the game, I think, as a coaching staff, where you really challenge your offensive line to go win the football game, right? We've got to lead late. We're going to run the football. And the defense and everybody in the stadium knows that's what's going to happen. Can we run the ball down their throats and impose our will? That's what this offense right now is trying to do. Just inside the red zone, first and 10 from the 19. Forced out of the pocket. And he has run out of bounds as they go backwards there and just avoided the contact. They've got a solid drive working, but now looking at second and 11. They'll keep it on the ground to keep this clock moving. Got some room headed to the goal line. Touchdown, Huskies! And...
Here comes the offense on first down. From the gun, the ground game. And I'm a fan of this, man. Run the football, eat the clock. We got the lead. This offense has put together a nice day, man. Like, just balance, rhythm, timing, play calling. Everything has worked. That's why they built this lead. They've had a great day today. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. Right back to the well. May not be the most memorable play of the day, but it's important as he gets them out to the 25-yard line. So they're facing third and short from the 25. Trying to pick it up on the ground. They'll move those chains, getting it out to the 29-yard line and trying to get this drive rolling. A strong, methodical, workmanlike effort from this team. No frills, just get the job done and get the win. I love when you describe my teams like that. Just consistent, you know, methodical, strong. I don't have to do things special every single week. All I'm supposed to do is get the W, and that's what they did. And this is why practice is so important, guys. You can tell that this team was locked in way back earlier in the week. They watched the film. They got good looks in practice. They knew what to anticipate. They knew what looks they were going to see. And when those looks presented themselves, boy, oh, boy, did they ever take advantage. That's going to do it for us from here for Jesse Palmer, David Pollock. I'm Reese Davis, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.